In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. We humbly implore your mercy, Lord. Protect us in all dangers through the prayers of the Bishop St. Nicholas, that, we, that the way of salvation may lie open before us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy, rich food and pure choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we looked to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord 
for years to come. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Behold, the Lord comes to save his people. Blessed are those prepared to meet him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, went up on the mountain, and sat down there. Great crowds came to him, having with them the lame, the blind, the deformed, the mute, and many others. They placed them at his feet, and he cured them. The crowds were amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the deformed made whole, the lame walking, and the blind able to see and they glorified the God of Israel. Jesus summoned his disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd, for they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry for the fear that they may collapse on the way. The disciples said to him, Where could we ever get enough bread in this deserted place to satisfy such a crowd? Jesus said to them, How many loaves do you have? Seven, they replied, and a few fish. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and the fish, gave thanks, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets full. The Gospel of the Lord. So we've begun the season of Advent and you're wondering why I'm not wearing purple. So let me tell you, we're celebrating the Feast of St. Nicholas today, and he was a bishop, a pastor, and so we wear white uh, to commemorate that. It's an optional celebration. It's not one that we have to do, but I felt compelled to do it today. So this is what we're celebrating. I think I mentioned this before, but I will mention it again. If you ever have a chance to go to the Art Museum in Columbia, South Carolina, There's a wonderful depiction of St. Nicholas, uh, which has an associated story with it, that there are, uh, I believe, uh, three young women who are um, to be betrothed, but their father cannot afford the dowry for any of them. And so the unfortunate consequence may have been for them to have to enter prostitution. And so St. Nicholas is depicted in this picture tossing small bags of coins through their window for each of them so that they may have a dowry and may be married. So it doesn't seem particularly miraculous, but it's the story that I remember most about St. Nicholas and uh, his charity towards these three women. It is... um, Uh, Certainly, uh, there are a lot of legends associated with St. Nicholas. I won't go into all of those, but um, I'm always happy to to celebrate this. And uh, there are even chocolates available for you if you'd like to take one after Mass in honor of St. Nicholas. So here we are, we're beginning the Advent season. And at the beginning of the season, we focus really on the two comings of Christ his coming in glory at the end of time, and his birth for us. As we go through the Advent season and get closer to the end, the focus becomes more on his birth for us. But we have these two comings that we are are awaiting, if you will, his final coming, but also we are getting ready for his birth for us. We're getting ready for that 
bit by bit. And so what we have in the scriptures for today are reminders of who Jesus is. That's how it's given. And in the gospel today, anyone, any good Jew that knew his scriptures would have heard these words and been able to speak and uh, would have understood that Jesus is the Messiah. And Matthew knew this, he was writing to a Jewish audience, and so he recognized that. And so he brings this event to them in his gospel to remind them that this is the Messiah. So here's the signs of the Messiah that are in the gospel for today. That he heals, that he teaches. And then Matthew adds something, and of course this was part of the, part of the experience, but he puts this in, uh, in this uh, context. He, he, he uh, continues the story with the multiplication of loaves because he wants them to recognize the Messiah as even more than that, even more than a healer. He is the one who is moved with pity for people. He loves his people and he wants to see that they are taken care of. And so even this sort of mundane thing of giving them some bread to eat uh, becomes this miracle, this sign of God's presence, which is what a miracle is. It's also supernatural, but it, but it is um, the sign that God is with them. So he takes seven loaves and a couple of fish and he, and he feeds the crowd. And not only that, they have more leftovers than when they started, seven baskets full. So the people should have been able to see this now, this revelation of who Jesus is, that he is the Son of God, that he is the Messiah that they've been waiting for. And so we begin, I guess, the Advent season now with this, with this understanding of who Jesus is. Who is it that is coming? He is the Savior. He is the one who loves us. He is the one who heals us. He is the one who will feed us. And we know of this precious food through the Eucharist that he feeds us on his bread, that bread that becomes his body, the complete presence of him for us. So as we begin this Advent season, as we remember St. Nicholas and his charity, we recognize also the great love that the Lord has for us in giving us the Eucharist today. We ask the Lord to, um, to help us to receive this wonderful gift of our Lord Jesus in the, in the Eucharist. And may it help us to prepare for both his comings, the coming that we don't know when it's coming, <laughs> when it is coming in glory at the end of time, and the coming that we anticipate with his birth. So let's pray. We pray for peace in Ukraine and in the Holy Land and in all areas of the world and that nations of the world will respond generously to the needs of those who are suffering because of war. We pray to the Lord. We offer the Mass today for Stuart Hooper. We pray, Harper, we pray to the Lord. We continue special prayers for Richard Ziegler, for Virgil, we pray to the Lord. And we continue our prayers for healing and comfort for Candace Matelski Brady, for Liam, Tiffany, and Christopher, for Madison Placencia, for Christy, Carol, and Carol Wenzel, and her grandchildren, uh, Stu Harper, um, Susan Harrelson, Nathan, Joey Zima, Melissa, Tony Day, Woody and Elaine Gales, Mr. and Mrs. Ingle, Kate Kopik, Sophia Mordini, Kitty Spurrier, the Obachowski family, uh, Bishop Peter Jugas, Marie, Trevor Redmond, Marita Mouton, and William O'Mine. We pray to the Lord. Lord Any other prayers you'd like to offer? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, 
hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. God of compassion, your heart was moved with pity when you saw the crowds in need of healing. May our hearts be moved as well to accompany those in need of your care and to recognize when we too are in need of compassion through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar on the feast day of Blessed Nicholas, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. And the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Nicholas you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Joan of Arc and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed Nicholas, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Amen.